Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and the 2022 Mr. Olympia has officially began with the press conference, and if you guys seen this and just want to hear my opinions, then stay tuned, and if you didn't see it, stay tuned for that, and I'll let you know what happened. This is very important, guys. The six dudes they brought out last year, they placed in the top six, so it's kind of like a heads up to the fans, this is going to be your, your top group, we have Ian Valier. We have William Bonac, Andrew Jacked is there, Derek Lunsford over on the other side with Hunter Labrada, and these guys came out one at a time, and then of course, of course, Nick Walker made his presence felt, and I'm telling you right now, no word of a lie, the temperature of even my room got colder, because Nick Walker, he's cold as ice too, definitely, like I said earlier, he didn't have the eye of the tiger, but he had... Something perhaps even more dangerous, more deadly. But but anyway, guys, wasn't too uh, exciting until this guy made his presence felt. Blessing Awadibu came out on the mic, jaw jacking, telling everybody he's going to whoop their butts. Hey, this makes bodybuilding so cool, so exciting. And if you don't like it, you don't like him, then you should look forward to seeing him get uh, defeated. And if you do like this uh, type of behavior, then, hey, kudos to Blessing Awadibu for sp not only spicing things up, but perhaps also using this intimidation tactic to put the fear of God into a couple of these guys. And then they brought out Raphael Brandeo and talk about polar opposites, you know, Blessing, Jaw Jackin, telling everybody how it is. You got Raphael Brandeo, nice suit, nice suit, and he had two little... Little paper bags, like I thought he had cologne in them. He gave one to Nick Walker, he gave one to Hunter Labrada. They were crying towels. He gave them some crying towels because he's going to upset them. Could you imagine that? So yeah, I, I, I like this type of uh, entertainment. And then, right when it was reaching a crescendo, <laughs> the Rocky music played, and this guy came out. <laughs> It was his, uh, Michael Crizo. You guys know it's Michael Crizo. And he brought some excitement. He came out and hit a couple of shots. He hit the most muscular and a front double. And already I could see he was shaking a little bit. But anyway, 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 all shaking bodybuilders aside, Crizo's going to do just fine. Even uh, Bob, Bobby boy. And Bob's looking pretty buff too. Speaking of buff physiques, he tried to get a little action going. Between Crizo, Michael Crizo, Crizo, as he put his coat back on, and uh, Big Andrew Jacked. And that's going to be a very interesting matchup to see those two big towers go at it and collide. And with no false modesty here, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, worst case Ontario for these guys, they're going to get 11th and 12th. Because aside from your top three, Rami. Hattie and Brandon Curry, which they obviously separated from this group, so they have that kind of pre-picked. Those three, including all of these guys, Ian Bonac, Andrew Jack, Hunter Labrada, Nick Walker, Blessing Awadibu, Raphael Brandeo, and Michael Crizo. That, I'm telling you right now, guys, that will make up your top 12. They have it already predetermined, so Samson Douda, a uh, whole bunch of other guys. James Hollingshead, Tony O'Burton, I'm talking a bunch of them. I guess they're going to they're going to be the ones that are going to need Rafael Brandeo's crying towel. Better luck next year, I guess. Hey, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I hope I am. Classic Physique was next with Seabum leading the way. So, Chris Bumstead. It's set in stone, guys. They have his name on that little trophy already. Nice mustache. I have to add to that, Chris Bumstead. And just like last year, we had Terrence Ruffin, Ruff Diesel, and Kel Surprise. We have Breon Ansley. Breon Ansley. And like I said, just like last year, you guys remember this? You guys remember this? They had nice suits. They had the Sandow sitting in front of them. And these guys, Breon, uh, Bumstead, and Terrence Ruffin were your top three. So think about it, guys. They have the exact same thing, the exact same setup. So what does that mean? No Ramon Dino, no Ors Kalachinsky, 
in the finals? Is this set in stone? Is this what they are and sing to us, the fans? Well, if so, it's going to be upsetting. I'm here to tell you right now. There's going to be a lot of people. Ors and Dino. That should have been called Ors Dino. Anyway, anyway, all jokes aside, that's your men's classic physique division. A little bit lackluster. Nobody took off their tops like last year. And then, again, blessing Awadibu made his presence felt again. This guy is a star. Because it was the final two guys, I guess, or two or three guys. We had Winter. Winter is coming. We had Big Mom to Hell Spy. I, I can't say his name that good. But either way, he's Big Rammy. Call him what you want. And then, of course, Brandon Curry. So, are they telling us that Blessing is going to be into the... The first call out? I don't know, man. I, that's a far cry, a far stretch of the imagination if you had a, told me that. But And then, of course, Hattie Chupon came out. And then, after a little while, the whole works of them came out. And this is going to be your, like I said, to your top 12. So, for the guys that aren't involved in this, I mean, they got to be upset. they got to feel dejected. they got to feel like, what am I, not good enough to be out here? But either which way, guys, it's going to be one heck of an Olympia. I'm just as excited as you guys. And could you imagine the nerves? This is going to, you know, this is going to whittle down their nerves a little bit, I think. Having coming out and standing next to each other, things of that nature. Excitement, excitement, blessing. I can't believe that guy. First call out. Wow. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Hit thumbs up, guys. Stay tuned for more updates. Have a great one.